very honored to be here. I was invited by Monique to come and perform, so hopefully y'all enjoy what I have to say. Uh, this first one I'm going to do is called Intro. <clears throat> How many want to step up to my challenge and get damaged? I leave them. Starving for poetic justice, I leave them famished. See, I don't have to be man, that's because even though I'm a grown man, don't have to cuss and be rude to turn you into a fan of my poetry. So hot, turn the average cat to ashes. Cause terror to brain cells, and even worse, the aftermath is more terrible than Ivan. To get to the top, I'm striving, making sure my words never fall short, my words are never dying. But they will last for eons and eons, turn a brainiac into a peon, shine in the dark like neon, the same level me and you cannot be on. The force of my words equal in a thousand atomic bombs. Activate smoke alarms and car alarms, not lukewarm, but I'm hot. Turn the spot you're standing in into a grave that's shallow. Turn your bones to pumice stone and crystallize your bone marrow. But everything that I talk about and everything that I say at the end of the day is just a little wordplay. That's the first one. All right, all right. Just to warm up, just to warm up, just to warm up. Got a few more for y'all. Y'all enjoy what y'all hearing so far, right? Okay, all right, all right. Uh, this next one is called Omega-3. Silently, I release my mental beast and people's attention will increase. To say the least, anything short of a masterpiece is simply rest in peace. In an all-purpose attempt to make boredom meet its defeat and make people jump to their feet and applaud in a manner that's unique, that sound to me is like ever so sweet. And the feeling that I get when I hear it, it just can't be beat. And it is a feeling that I often seek. Often when my world looks bleak, I tweak my technique. When it's not right, my mind shrieks from Sunday to midweek. At one point, I might be on a hot streak for a whole two weeks. Jumped into this poetry thing with two feet. Trying to avoid writer's block made of concrete. I pulverize it with words from my unique cheeks. Turn it to dust molecules that I absorb into my physique and empower my speech to make it a little more deep. Thereby transforming me into nature's freak. I lace my palms with fenugreek. So those that try to bite are left with a nasty taste in their teeth. For if a poem is heard, you should insist those words are worthy of your attention. Not an honorable mention, but something that can relieve the tension. A verbal extension from a different dimension. A poet's invention should cause apprehension to your mind's visions. Not put your imagination in detention, but something that can relieve the tension. For every time I get a chance, I make this my personal mission. Me and my poems are one by process of nuclear fission. And my mind is the key that I put into the ignition. And I stockpile my poems like munitions to make sure that I have enough ammunition to make a smooth transition. Not push back to your subconscious, but much more towards the surface. Not something that you will forget on purpose or something that you will forfeit a sure hit. And if it doesn't mit and if it doesn't fit, I must acquit. I make sure that I'm not a nitwit. And by not saying things that are counterfeit, it helps my words to shine like they are sunlit. Because for this poetry thing that I do, I have a real passion. That's why I take time to consider the words that I fashion. Sparks fly off of them like it's iron ore that I'm bashing. My poetic rashes are here to feed y'all some mental nourishment because y'all been fasting. Right. <laughs> uh, what time I got? I'm gonna do a couple more. Y'all okay with that? Yeah. Of course. Okay. All right. Got to ask y'all permission now. Don't want to bore y'all. All right. <laughs> uh, this next one is called Puppet Master. I said I'll make you feel what I'm saying, and you'll react to it, whether it's happiness or mayhem, see them games, I don't play them, and the competition, I slay them, lyrically. My goal is to achieve mastery until one day I'm at the point where every speech is like a masterpiece. In an attempt to make you laugh or teach, the choice is mine. You can even act like you don't want to hear me, then fine. But if you do, then the electrical impulse is sent down your spine by way of your mind reverberating from the next poem that I said controls your nerves like puppet strings in my hand until one day you admit that I'm the man. 
With the words that I write, I can make you feel happy or sad, even glad or mad, even make you pause to think. Hell, I'll even make you think my poems stink, but you will leave feeling something. I guarantee you won't leave feeling nothing. You can try it all you want, but you're fronting. Hit you, hit you with the right words and up out of your seat, you're jumping, laughing and clapping. Two people clapping with four arms lyrically represent a cracking. Clash of the titans when me and these poems are heard. You can try to act like you're not anticipating the next word, verb, or noun. You can try to avoid it all, but no human in existence is faster than the speed of sound. Make your body move like a ventriloquist, not imaginary like a basilisk. The microphone is the control rod I have in my mighty fist, and I use this like I have a remote control as I unload thoughts and phrases from my mind for you to behold. And the end result is laughter, smiling, or banter. You've just succumbed to my words, and I'm your poetic puppet master. All right. Do one more for y'all, just to set things up here. Uh, this one is called Bodyguard for Poetry. <laughs> Spoken word to me shall always be important. So I'll always spit that fire. And since fire purifies, I declare myself a raisin in the sun and burned by the heat of an atomic red giant. But always shall I remain defiant to the norm, firmly placed into the eye of the storm, but at all times remaining warm because the embrace of El Shaddai is with me at all times, and I am like a god among these many devils. But each and every step that I take cracks the ground that I'm walking on, and as I step with the power of a million man master, best way to stop me is to never let me start. But that's impossible. Leaving all fear and doubt beat down and in the hospital. And I am a monster in sense. It takes a nation of millions to hold me back. I step with the power of millions plus one. Posted in a tall tower to bathe in a meteor shower. And the iron cores of each one I devour. To spit out of my mouth like a cannon to blow apart. My beliefs in this system have been blown apart. With one hand on my chest like Napoleon Bonaparte. Pledging allegiance to these heathens and weasels, the new age axis of evil is like everyone is weak, falling down weak from clouds, dropping chloroform rain. But I came to bring the pain, hardcore to the brain. The truth is hard to swallow, so that's why I jump inside my astral train. I've already been around this universe several times in my brain. Hopscotch to other dimensions, cross other timelines. My third eye is giving birth to a fourth one so that I'm never, ever blind. But all this heat and this pressure just gives me a diamond-like shine. And these are just a few of the things that I had to get off of my chest. Even the eagle that represents the U.S. crest is going bald from all this stress. I said even the eagle that represents the U.S. crest is going bald from all this stress. So I always say God bless. The Republicans are rocking red, the Democrats are rocking blue, and between them both is an independent white lie. Sounds to me like the Crips and the Bloods. And this nation was founded by thugs. So I pledge my allegiance to God. And that was the wrong title for that poem, by the way. That's not what I meant to say. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Nobody knew that but me, but I'm going to just make it known. Uh, <laughs> I guess I got time for one more. Uh, awakening. To the black man, I say, why? Do you not look to the sky from which comes your strength? Because you know it comes from on high. From all the racial oppression to all these rigged tests and going to sleep to the sound of automatic weapons. I'm not fretting, but I'm betting I'm not letting these laws take the strength from my jaws because I'm down for the cause of my people who happen to be the prequel of mankind. No equal to the man's mind who was here from the beginning, who's really doing the sinning by feeding us these false religions. Every decade or so, one of them appears acting like they're Christ, but if you notice, most of them appear with bad eyesight, 
wearing glasses. But why is this when the God I serve has vision that is all seeing? Who knows our entire meaning before the age we're even speaking, seeking enlightenment by constantly fighting these inner demons who have a plot to take me out of my spot as almighty ruler. The spot I got is very hot, but I meditate like Buddha. Shoot you with these poetic hollow points to make sure that your wig I'll anoint with these thoughts that are free. Free like me and you should really be, but we're still living in slavery. But not with whips and chains, not with drugs, alcohol, and mind games to keep us maintained. A damn shame we call our most prized possessions whips and chains. And I refuse to call myself African American, damn it. That name came from an Italian mobster by the name of Africanus. Shut off notices and cockroaches appear like hocus pocus to make me lose my focus. Oh, shit. Why does the mainstream embrace black culture like vultures, eating and digesting it till it comes out there behind runny? It's funny that we make all the music, but the execs make all the money. Then you'll see that same black man on the corner looking bummy. Like a dummy, he'll take your funds and run, see? If I believe in the teachings of Malcolm X, should I then multiply myself as a threat? X being the symbol for multiplication, as being the symbol for defecation. Many black asses being kicked and made black and blue by the system. But if you break off the foot, there won't be no more kicking. Stop tripping and make this your personal mission before you're part of the past and extinct. And since I am a black man in this conversation with myself, it makes me think. Is it my ancestors from the past who are talking to me? My ancestors from the past who were treated so unjustly, trust me. I have their strength and their drive flowing through my sinews. And this is bad news for those who seek to abuse. My ancestors from the past have taken my present physical form. And I'm awakened to who I am. And to the world, I say, you're warm. Thank you. I think I got time for one more. All right, y'all got time for one more? Just one? Two more? Wow. You need to come up here and help me, man. I know you got some stuff you've been writing. Yep, yep. Don't be modest. All right. You got to cross your legs and come up here. But um, <laughs> that's my man right there. But uh, let's see. Uh. One more for y'all. This one is called Colors. And it's kind of, I'm not going to say kind of related. It's related to the dark cloud over our city right now with all this violence and stuff. That's what inspired me to write this. Um, it's called Colors. Going out of days of simple playground games, now, all of a sudden, it's about what color you claim. So you can claim blue if you want to, but you can always claim red. It doesn't matter what color you claim. It can lie in your casket when you're dead. Because all colors end up led down that path that spells destruction. Guns blazing and guns bussing. Ambulance speeding, ambulance rushing. Because they have another pickup. They have another delivery. Brings business to the funeral home, but to the family it brings misery. And it makes no sense to me, steadily dying at an increased pace, causing total destruction and mayhem and decreasing my young black race. And for what? Property? That'll never be yours in the first place? The scenario is clear, but it still falls under the worst case. See, I'm a poet by craft, but right now I'm like a minister because I'm trying to tell you the truth about a topic that's so sinister. Tick tock is the sound that the clock makes. Pop pop is the sound that the Glock makes. But time is running out, so please make haste. I'm so sorry I took your attention. I only did it because I love you. And this whole poem started on the subject of some colors. Thank you. <laughs>